Good morning, this is uh, video reflection number three, chapter five, Zastro. It's on ethnocentrism, discrimination, racism. And uh, it was really triggering to read this chapter, uh, even though we are talking about this in our March pop class. Um, I am, uh, it angers me because I am, formerly incarcerated and um, I'm a former addict and um, have faced many discriminations um, because of my background history and um, because I'm Latina and I find it find that uh, even after all this time and laws been passed you know all the laws that have been passed and um, you think that society would have moved from this and we'd be educating our kids um, with a different approach and not um, continue to oppress uh, those in poverty and just the segregation in our communities um, and no one speaking up. Um, and I can't say no one, but um, you know, the white population continue to be privileged and you know ignore oppression or accept it and for me it is um it's frustrating because um even after all this time of not being in prison um i still face discrimination uh, maybe not so much in my job now but in the past um i've been uh, fired due to my my background and um, have faced a lot of oppression. Do I know that I'm privileged? Yes, I am privileged because I have a job now where I work for the county and they hired me because of my background. Um, but um, I know that um, it's there and I see it on the news with um, Black Lives Matter and um, I am a, you know, I, I am an advocate and, um, I think that, um, education is the way, education of being informed. And I think that we have to continue the fight and the fight in, um, informing those who uh, don't know basically or do know and don't want to see and the only thing we can do is continue to have a voice and advocate for ourselves and for our cultures and for those who don't have a voice um i welcome any feedback and um thank you for letting me share